tell you what, this has been a chore getting down in here. Woo! But look what I've got. This is all to myself. Well, this hip camp just came online and I thought maybe I would sleep under here but then I changed my mind we're gonna sleep in comfort this weekend she's gonna go down there and try to fish already Water's a little low, but I'm going to tell you a story later on in the video about a time when the water wasn't low. Now this bridge is condemned to traffic, and it is on private property. So, you can't just come down here and camp unless you get permission. Isn't this just beautiful down here? The old commercial said it's time to relax. And it is. There's the old bridge up there. And not too far away is a covered bridge. I believe it's called the Bridge of Dreams. Hey everybody, welcome back. If you're a subscriber and if you're new to the channel, I'm Woody. Star is over there scouting around. We got a great adventure planned for you tonight. I got a great menu planned for me. I got a great menu planned for Star. You can see we're on a beautiful river. I'm going to try to catch some fish. And thanks for coming along. We hope you enjoy this adventure. Got one of these stormproof sweet fire strikeable fire starters. I'll just use one of these and see if I can get it going with that. I've had these a long time. I guess it's time to see if they work, huh? I would say if they're stormproof, they should lighten the rain. Get right up. One 
thing we need to do is go ahead and get this steak ready. I brought some hand sanitizer somewhere. Let this dry so my steak don't taste like alcohol. Okay, I've got my steak ready. I got some steakhouse seasoning on it. And we're gonna use this pot tonight. A company called Keith Titanium sent me this to use in my camping videos. And this is a kind of a unique pot. I did a dedicated video to it. But it's got holes through it all throughout here. And then you put water down in here, a couple inches of water, and you drop that in. And then it heats and it steams. And you put, uh, tonight I'm putting broccoli and green beans in here. The broccoli, they will neither one be salted because Star's going to get the beans. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, we'll see how it does. I don't know where she went. Oh, she's down there messing around. So I'm going to put a couple inches of water in here. Enough so it don't boil dry too quickly. And then I'm going to set this down in here. Like that. I hope I got room for Star's beans. And I could not find no salt added because Star is not allowed to have salt. But I couldn't find no salt added with the pop top, so I'm going to have to open this with my knife. So I'm going to do it in case I cut myself. I'm going to do it off camera. Okay, I did get get them opened. So and I'll go ahead and put this back in here so no one gets cut. I don't like leaving my knife outside the sheath. So, we'll go ahead and pour these no salt beans in here, along with the broccoli. Probably won't all fit. So, that. Again, there's no water on any of this. And I'm going to go ahead and close it up. And this is like a mini pressure cooker. It's really neat. I used it at home. It's got like a silicone sleeve around here. It's like a food grade sleeve. And I used this at home and I made some peas. And man, they were good. I put just a little bit of butter in with the peas. She's down there stuck. So I'm gonna set this on here and let this start cooking. And that's titanium. That is nice. It's nice and light. That outfit right there, that cooking system weighs nine ounces. And they also sent me the uh, a spork. And they sent me this. This is 15 and a half ounces. This is actually a coffee mug. But tonight I'm going to cook my baked beans in it. I was able to get baked beans with the pop top, so that would be so much easier opening that up. Go ahead and dump these in here. This is going to save me right here about a pound in my backpack. And uh, a pound is a lot. And we might as well go ahead and throw the steak on. And I got to get Star's chicken on there. Now this, this has got a rubber silicone rubber on the top here so you can grab this without getting burnt. This one doesn't. That's the only bad thing about that one. And right here, lastly, is the spork they sent me. I did a video, a couple of three videos ago, and I had to eat with my knife. I think they felt sorry for me, so they sent me a nice titanium spork. This weighs one ounce, and the mug weighs three ounces. I 
I always keep my trash together so I don't have to worry about gathering it up later. I did bring my power bank down here because, like I said, this is the only place that's going to be dry today. There's an 80% chance of rain all night long. So I'll just set my power bank over here. guys think yeah them beans are about done I bet you that broccoli is about done too I'm gonna go grab me a plate I think I better get my steak. I better get my steak off. Uh, get Star's chicken off. Oh yeah, look at that steam coming out of there. Them are ready. I guess I'll just eat with frog togs on tonight. And I gotta get stars for her first. She likes green beans. She used to eat carrots as treats, but then she got to where she wouldn't eat them. I'm not going to eat any of this chicken. I may save some for her tomorrow morning. She doesn't eat a lot when we go camping. She likes to be out here running around, but she also knows that the environment is different. Look at that. The steam is still coming off there. There's link. I'll put links to this in the description. It's a, it's a nice little pot. I was able to do away with with the rest of my stainless steel stuff. So, you know, she's got chicken and green beans, and I hope she eats it all. She is filthy, and she'll be wanting to sleep with me tonight. Come on, get that out of there. There. Now eat your dinner. Is that good? Hmm? Yeah, that's pretty good. Let me get some for me. Let me see if it's any good. I came to a realization that if I wanted to do anything today outside, it would have to be under this bridge. Yo, know, it's a beautiful night. It's probably about 67, 68. There's a nice breeze coming right into my face. I like these tongs. Look at that. Look at that fresh steamed broccoli. Look at that, you guys. That broccoli is so tender. That's going to be good. The reason I started giving star green beans and veggies because she wasn't getting her nutrients just eating meat all the time. And I'm looking for a little salt for my broccoli. I can eat salt. I can eat bad stuff for me. Let's taste this. See if it's any good.
Mm. Star, you want a piece of broccoli? Come here. Here, Star. You like that? She's going to check it out. You guys, I'm going to finish eating. And uh, the rain is slowing down a little bit. It would not hurt my feelings if it stopped, but it is supposed to rain all night. The river's up a little bit. Here in a little bit, I'm going to tell you a story about a tragedy that happened right here in this little area a long, long time ago. Man, it is pouring down. I'm going over here to make sure all this charcoal is out. I'll come over in the morning and pack that up. It is pouring, you guys. Probably won't be back out tonight unless it slows down a little bit. I think these frog togs are one of the best investments I've ever made. They're reasonably priced, and I would have been drenched tonight had I not had them on. Morning, everybody. Came up here on this condemned bridge to do this video. Tell you a story. I was going to tell you last night, but it was too rainy. In 1913, they had a severe flood from this river right here in a little town of Brinkhaven, Ohio. They only lost two lives. It wiped out half the town. And the two lives that they lost, their names were Harry and Kate. They were a married couple. They couldn't find their bodies and they went to a psychic and the psychic told them if they went to a certain structure, uh, this is from the article that I read, and the psychic told them if they went to a certain structure and they, that still had uh, standing water and they was able to divert the water and get the standing water off that they would find their bodies so they did that and they found their bodies and they was able to bury them so I don't know whether you believe in psychics or not I thought it was a weird story but it's a true story and I wanted to bring it to you guys right here where we camped last night there was another severe flood here in 1959 that was the year I was born and it flooded flooded the whole area on what kind of day we're going to have it's about seven o'clock there's red skies that way uh, but it does look like it's brightening up a little bit so Star and I is going to take our morning walk. I'm going to go back and make me some coffee. And uh, can you say hi? That's what we had to walk across to get out here. We'll hope for safety going back. We'll see you in a little bit. We're going to make some coffee. Go from there. Well, it's starting to rain again, but I want to get a line in. See if I can catch something. Man. As long as it don't rain any harder than this, I'm okay. But I'm afraid it's going to. I just don't want her to get soaking wet again. And I don't want to get soaking wet again. Yeah, we'll just throw a few worms in. See if we catch anything. I give her a bully stick. I had a sheep here busy for a little while.
it just goes along the bottom till it gets caught on something and gets hung up. Ooh, I got a bite right there. Pretty nice little tug. I got a fish on everybody. Yeah. Hope he didn't swallow my hook. Little chub. Quit. Grow up. Grow up and be a carp. Yeah, I know. Ow. I know. This is a beautiful hip camp, you guys. I uh, don't think I, unless it went by while I was asleep, I did not hear one car go by last night. Did not hear one human. Now right here, if you wanted to bring a canoe or kayaks, you could put in right here. Now we've got some pretty strong water right here, but if you go down there, you can see it quiets down. So you could take a canoe down there and just linger around a little bit. Or if you had somebody pick you up on downstream, they could pick you up. But yeah. And like I said, if you was in a group, you've got places here for three rigs, car camp, cargo cart camp. I wouldn't bring anything very big because as you can see, right up in there is where you got to come in and go out. Now they've got this up here blocked for some reason. Now I did have a hard time finding it. It was pinned only. There's no address. But uh, this is how I came in, was through this person's farm. I don't know whether that's the owner or not, but I came in through that way, and then I realized I couldn't. That's where Google told me to turn, and I couldn't get down that way. So then when I got down there and I tried to cut in there, I could not do it. So I had to go down probably about a half a mile back into a drive and then come back in. But this is a beautiful, beautiful site. I'm pretty sure they only rent it to one person at a time. Now I'm not sure on that. I don't think I would want to be down here with people I didn't know because you're just too close. Yeah, you kayak, canoe, fish. Probably the best place to fish would be on down there somewhere. Like I said, this is some pretty shallow, shallow water right here where I was fishing earlier. Yep, I gotta go get my stove packed up, get packed up, and I'm ready to go. Well, I walked around my site picked up one piece of paper that wasn't mine this is a very clean camp the paper that I picked up was very very small and I'm not sure they may even furnish firewood I brought some firewood but I didn't get a chance to burn because of the rain but yeah the end of another adventure love y'all Remember, love others the best you can. Take it one day at a time. We hope you enjoyed the adventure. We will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.